today's video, in today's video, we'll look into a scenario in which northern Macedonia forms an empire. Even though I'd rather call it Macedonia. I don't know why it's called northern Macedonia. Fine, I do know why it's called Macedonia. Ma northern Macedonia, because Greece didn't like it being called that, because Macedonia is a region in Greece. Yep, exactly. But that kind of does make sense, if you think of it. Yeah, there's two different histories. Two different groups of people in Macedonia and Macedonia. Actually, one is Slavic, other isn't. With Greece declaring war on the Macedonian Empire. Yep, for a surprise, that's what's going to happen. There's going to be war declared on them to start the Empire video by Greece. That's not a normal thing to happen. They're trying to form the Macedonian Empire, I guess. But they've already made a friend, Turkey. Who, yeah, before Greece can do anything, they've already invaded Greece. Well, with Greece making moves in the northern Macedonia, almost taking the capital. But with a counter-offensive pushing them away from scope. Pushing them back to the border. And this counter-offensive is so successful, they even cross the border into Greece. Cutting Greece in two. As the Turkish offensive in the Thrice has begun, the offensive in the Macedonia by the Macedon Northern Macedonia, or the Macedonian Empire, is going well. Greece is having some trouble now. Well, they're being attacked on two fronts. What do I mean by two fronts, guys? Well, look, Turkey lands in the south as they move up. Their strategy, they've taken where Sparta used to be. And they've moved up by Athens. With the city having the fall, the surrender of Greece is made with Turkey and Macedonia coming for an agreement on the division of Greece. Macedonian Empire. And Turkey becomes an ally of the Macedonian Empire. Turkey did take parts of Thrice in the islands. And yeah, they're allies, and now they're over partitioning Bulgaria. With the help of Turkey, Bulgaria is in a lot of trouble. With a full front line being created whenever the troops manage to push ahead. And they moved up the coast, find the Serbian border yet. With Turkey moving up inland to split Bulgaria from the coast, the taking of Sofia by Macedonian troops is done, with their capital having fallen. The rest of Bulgaria falls. And Bulgaria is partitioned. Just to give you an example of what it'll be like, what the treaties like. Turkey takes that. Meanwhile, Macedonia takes something like this. Being having war declared on along with Kosovo. With Serbia claiming that their territory, they're on the same side. That doesn't make sense, but yeah. Which basically means Serbia walked into this war. With the Republic of Bulgaria expanding too. With the fall of Albania being a rough one, but eventually their capital, Trina or whatever it's called, falls. And so they move up the country to the capitulation as they take Belgrade. Serbia capitulates and a peace treaty is signed with Macedonian Empire. And the Bulgarian puppet rapidly expanded. And Vojvodina is freed from Serbia. With an ultimatum to Montenegro asking for these lands. Montenegro agrees to the northern lands. Giving them a bit of an expansion. Instead of giving them the lands they originally requested. So they get slightly more land. And this is a lot of land if you look at it. More land than they asked for, but Montenegro didn't want to give up its coast. Because the coastline is more valuable, but the empire still accepted it. Because an empire is just looking for land, as we all know. At the end of the day. Macedonian Empire, let's look at states. Of this Macedonian Empire. We got Macedonia over here. We got the Bulgarian state. The Serbian. The Serbian. 
the North Albanian, the South Albanian, and the Greek state. And so as you can see, it's pretty well divided up. And Turkey did get a lot of land too out of this empire being formed just because they were allies. And I feel like Turkey and Albania, I think, have good relations in real life too. So yeah. And thank you for watching today's video as it means a lot for the channel. Now I don't know how many subscribers you have right this second. 926 subscribers, which means we have 74 left to go to our goal of 1,000. So if you could, please like, subscribe, and comment, as I'd be great for this series. And at 1,000 subscribers, we'll have a subscriber special. So please subscribe. That's all for today's video. Wild Mapper out, but not until you subscribe. Bye, guys.